What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be answering so many of your questions. I have went on some of my most recent videos as well as my most viewed videos and I have screenshotted all of your questions and I'm going to go ahead and answer all of them specifically because I keep missing some of these and these have been asked weeks ago and I'm so sorry that I have not answered them sooner. But all of these questions are going to be nail service and nail business related. Um, how I do certain services, different things about the business, and tips that people have asked me for. So if those things are interesting to you, I think this video is going to be super helpful and we're just going to go ahead and get right into your questions. So this first question was from my salon tour video. I'll have that one linked down below if you guys haven't seen it. But Kayla is asking if I am renting in a salon space or if it's out of my home. And she wanted to know if I was renting out of my home, what would be some pros and cons of doing that. And I have never actually ran my services from my home, but I have been on location based or doing mobile services. So basically that's like I have a home business, but I go out to clients' homes and do the actual services. But I do have some kind of pros and cons for that kind of thing for you guys, just to go over really quick. And I've touched on a few of these in past videos, but some big things that come to mind are if you are home-based, you don't have that extra luxury of getting walk-in business. You don't have that extra luxury of getting the clients that are already in a salon for maybe different services. Like if you're in a full service salon and you're working on nails, you don't have the luxury of meeting people that are coming in to get their hair done or to get a massage or a facial or whatever the case may be. So you definitely have to work a lot harder in the beginning to grow your clientele. Also, if you're doing it out of your home, you have to worry about the fact that you are marketing out your personal address and your personal location to strangers basically. So that was one of the things that kind of stopped me from doing it over the years, I had an extra space and I kind of wanted to do that out of my home at one point, but I wasn't comfortable with having to advertise my personal location and have strangers come in and out of my house. So that's something you're definitely going to have to think about because that's kind of a little bit of a con. Pros, obviously, you work for yourself, you're completely in control, you don't have to worry about renting and additional utilities and stuff like that out of a salon space. So. I would definitely say the pros would outweigh the cons, but you definitely have to see if that fits your lifestyle. So the next question is, oh, can you do a video on how to do a pedicure? And I will definitely be doing that out of my salon. Tomorrow, I think I have new clients. So I never want to film when I have a brand new client, but whenever I have a pedicure appointment uh, for a reoccurring client, I will film that because they'll be cool with that. And I'll get to show you guys the whole process. Let's see. I also had someone ask about how do I manage without having a sink inside my salon space. So if you guys have not seen my tour video, I'll link it down below. But as you guys will see, I don't have any running water in the actual space that I'm renting. So what I do for manicures and for pedicures, I have a bathroom down the hallway and Thank goodness, in the bathroom there is a utility closet, so I am getting to use a full utility sink, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a really deep, really wide sink that you can actually attach a hose to, and you can fill up buckets. It's basically for cleaning if you're filling up a mop bucket or things like that, but this is perfect for my pedicures. So if you guys also saw in that video, you see that I don't have a jetted foot spa. I use electric, like, mobile foot baths. So this is something that you can pick up and you can take to your water source, fill it up, and then put it back in its insert to do the actual pedicure in your room. So that is how I get by. I basically just go to my water source at the end of the hallway and I fill up my disposable liner in my footsie bath insert and then I bring it back and I set it into its little home <laughs> and I do my pedicures. Um, it's actually working really well for me because I am appointment based because it's just me so I am able to know when I do have an appointment coming up so I go ahead and have all of the logistics of that done before the client actually comes in so I don't have to worry about doing that in front of a client if that makes sense. Um, so it's definitely not ideal. I would definitely suggest finding somewhere that already has plumbing inside your room, but you can definitely work around that if you have to. Uh, let's see. The same person asked, do you offer 
something to your client to drink during their service and yes I do I keep bottled water in my room I don't have it in a refrigerator or anything but I do keep bottled water and then I also have like a little candy dish so they can have a treat and some water while they're getting their manicure or pedicure I also had someone else ask me what I do as far as disinfection and cleaning in my salon so I have a tray for sanitizing and disinfecting my implements and it's actually just a regular plastic sanitizing tray and I fill it full of a barbicide um, mixture. It's like a mixture of liquid barbicide and water and you basically put all of your used stainless steel like reusable implements in this tray and when you close the lid it makes it sink down into the solution and you leave it in there to disinfect for about 15 minutes and then I take them out, I wash them off with soap and water, dry them and then I put them away so that those are completely sanitized. And then for the equipment in my room and the actual um, manicure table and pedicure chair, I have barbicide wipes. So I just put gloves on because you don't need to have that on your skin. And then I wipe down absolutely everything in my room after every single client and at the end of the day. And you wipe it on so that it's visibly wet and you let it, you allow it to dry before you touch it again and that disinfects all of your surfaces. Someone also asked me what I use as far as disposable implements and the only thing that I do disposable is my nail files, my nail buffers, my cuticle sticks, and then I have the disposable liners that I use in the foot bath for every pedicure. And I also use disposable manicure towels, which is basically like a luxury paper towel that you lay out on top of towels whenever you're doing a manicure. Just makes cleanup a lot easier. And then I also use disposable strips on the, um, the heel, like buffing paddle that you use for a pedicure. I have the buffing paddle itself that gets sanitized every time, but the actual strips that go against your skin, those are disposable. And I use a fresh one for each client. And what else? Disposable pedicure slippers, obviously. Um, what else? That might be it. That was actually a lot more than I realized. But yeah, all those things I listed, I use a fresh one for each client and then throw away after each service. All of the things that I use that are reusable are like my stainless steel um, implements. So like nail clippers, cuticle nippers. Nail clippers, cuticle nippers, and tip cutters if I'm doing acrylic. And what else? Oh, and then like the drill bits that I use for an electric file. If I ever use those, that drill bit is always disinfected as well. So I think that all the questions that I'm going to answer in today's video, if you guys found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please leave me some more questions if you have them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.